so now we shall be discussing regarding the pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim okay so now a topic of discussion would be regarding the pelvic inlet which is also called as a pelvic brim so first what we shall do is that we shall look at what are the borders of pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim okay so if you can look at this picture over here in this picture we see there is anterior end right so there is an anterior end and we can also see the posterior end and after that we can see the lateral ends i mean on either side the laterally so anteriorly what do we have posteriorly what do we have laterally what do we have we will look into that okay so first important thing is that anteriorly what do we have so if you see anteriorly here so if i'm drawing a line if i'm drawing a line for example see this part whatever i have drawn here this is called as sacral promontory okay so what is this this is called as sacral promontory okay this part is your sacral promontory next after that see here i am drawing a line from here i am drawing a line like this all the way right so in this line is going all the way down here so this line inside this line whatever is there this is called as a pelvic inlet or the pelvic brim which is also called as a true pelvis right now here anteriorly what do you have anteriorly we have this part all the way all the way from here till here this part we have got now this is a superior surface of the pubic bones or the inferior surface of the pubic bones obviously this is called as a superior surface of pubic bone or upper margin of the pubic bone right so anteriorly we have got upper margin of pubic symphysis upper margin of pubic symphysis okay posteriorly what do you have see this if this is anterior end this will be the posterior end posteriorly what do you have sacral promontory posteriorly you have got sacral promontory on the lateral sides what do you have on the lateral sides if you see clearly you have got three important things what are those three important things see from here till here right till this point this is called as the ala of the sacrum bone now ala of the sacrum bone has got two margins okay if you see here this is the anterior margin of ala of sacrum bone and this is the posterior margin okay so here whatever margin i have drawn this is the anterior and look here this one which i'm drawing right now this is a posterior margin so what should i tell anterior margin of ala of sacrum bone right that is the first thing let me write it down laterally you have anterior margin of ala of the sacrum anterior margin of the ala of the sacrum this is present on the lateral side now after this the next important thing is this so all the way from here till here this part this blue color shaded part whatever is there right this one is called as arcuate line so the second one is called as arcuate line after the arcuate line the third important one third important one it is difficult here to understand just look here now so this center part is called as your pubic symphysis see this one is your pubic symphysis on either side you have got pubic bones now if you look at the pubic bones here you have got a pubic tubercle right and then you have got a line like this clear now here this one is called as pubic tubercle okay and this one is called as pc pc matlab pubic crest and this one is called as pectineal line pectineal line okay now exactly if you look here this part is present on the pectineal line laterally laterally this part here this line which i have drawn is the pectineal line so laterally we have got pectineal line also so what are the structures that are located here what are the structures that are located here anteriorly you have got the upper margin of the pubic bone posteriorly you have got the sacral promontory and laterally you have got three important structures what are those three important structures here one is called as anterior margin of the ala of sacrum 
second important thing the blue one is the arcuate line and the red one is the pectineal line so these are the structures which are located here okay 